welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a GFX without Blender because sometimes Blender is very difficult for some people so we're going, I'm going to show you how to make a GFX without Blender. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and open up Roblox Studio. Once you open up Roblox Studio, it should look like this. Um, you don't have to worry about installing Roblox Studio because it comes with Roblox. If you deleted a Roblox Studio, I recommend reinstalling Roblox so you can have Roblox Studio. And you just have to log in with your Roblox username and password. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to click on Base Plate. And then it's going to load in. So if you don't see the toolbox, the Explorer, the Properties, what you have to do, you have to go to View. Then you're going to click on Explorer. You're going to click on Properties. You're going to click on Toolbox. And you can also click on Command Bar, but you don't really need Command Bar. So then once you have all of that open, you're going to go to your plugins and you're going to click on load character. But if you don't have load character, you're going to go to here, you're going to go to under here, you're going to go to plugins, and you're going to search up load character. And don't pick the one that costs Robux, pick the one that is free. Then click on it and install it. Okay, then go back to your plugins and load your character. Load your username or whatever username that you want to. Um, my username is OceanSkyYT and you should follow me on Roblox. I'm going to pick R15. You can pick R6. There's just, it's going to be the same process, but it's going to be different. And to move in Roblox Studio, what you have to do, you have to you have to move in WASD like you would in Roblox and you have to to drag you have to right click and drag your screen and to move slower you're going to go to WASD but hold shift and then you'll go slower now let's before we actually do any moving or any parts moving I'm going to show you how you can change accessories your hair your clothes your face everything you're going to go to the arrow over here and then you're going to go to any of your accessories like if you want to remove like some accessories like maybe like you want to remove this you're going to right click on it and delete it and then it will remove you if you don't want to delete it you can go to the undo button up here and then it should undo it and then to redo it, you just go to here to redo. And then it will remove it. Let's say you want to change your shirt. So what you would do, you would find the shirt that you want in Roblox. I'm going to go into Roblox. So I actually have a shirt that I that you might want to wear. You're going to go to the 10 digit number here, over here, the 10 digit like the digits over here and you're going to right click and copy it or go to control copy or control C or command C whatever device you're on and then you're going to delete that and you're going to paste in the code and then it's going to put in that but I don't want that in so I'm going to undo that and it's the same thing with pants you go here and then you put in the code so I would have a pants over here I would have to go to the digits over here and copy it and then I would go into Roblox Studio and I would delete this and paste it in and then it would change my pants. And you can also add accessories so you're going to go here and you're going to go to models and you're going to type in the accessories that you want. So I have an accessory over here called the pom-poms. Uh, you can copy and paste the name. You don't have to copy and paste the link. You can copy and paste the name, go into Roblox Studio, and paste in pom-poms, and you should see it. You might not see it. You might see it. But usually it will be there, but some accessories aren't there. So unless it's created, you can also do the same thing with hair. So if I have 
hair like this i can copy it and i can paste the hair in here and then one of the hairs should come up and then some hairs will not be in roblox studio that's the bad part but it's okay let's say you want to change your face which you will do you go you'll go to your head and you go down you'll click on the arrow on your head and then you would right click on your face and delete it if you want no face then you can leave it how it is but then you're going to go to models and i'm going to type in the super happy face my dream face and the cool thing about making gfx you can put whatever you want because it's your gfx you could put any type of face you want and then you'll click on the decal over here you'll right click and click on cut and then it will cut and then you're going to go into your head you're going to right click and click on paste into and then it'll paste in the face right there over here but i'm not going to put in the face and then that's how you would change everything okay so now let's go on to moving your arms your legs and everything like that so there's more parts but if you chose to use r6 there's going to be less parts for you you can go to your if you want to select more than one part you're going to go to here and you're going to select different parts then you're going to go to model and then you'll have select move scale rotate move is like you move the parts rotate you can rotate it and scale is different you can make it smaller or larger i don't recommend using the scale on body parts and for rotate make sure it's on 0 0.01 and make sure on move it's on zero and make sure collisions is not selected then you'll be able to move it and then it's really smooth so I'm going to, and then it's the same thing, you can move any parts of your body, arrange it how you want to, and I will, I'm going to speed this part up and I'm going to arrange the GFX how I want to. Okay, so I finished on like how I wanted to pose it. It's nothing much. Like I just have the arms bent, making sure everything is connected and everything. And also if you want to remove your name, all you have to do is go here, go to your character, double click on it. Go, go to your character and get in the text box and then just put a, just put a space and then the name will be removed. So then you're going to find a model. So you're going to go here and you're going to search up what type of model that you want. And also, this is how you can also find your props as well. And you can, there's different things that you might want. Just experiment with things that you might want. And you can also remove certain things. Like you can remove different things in the model. Like if you don't want the dogs like i don't I, there's a lot of dogs in in this model so i don't want that so you can delete that and just select the parts like that you don't want and then you can delete the delete the parts in the model it might take it might take a long time especially if the, your model has a lot of parts and it might be like pretty difficult to take out everything that you don't want but just try your best and maybe you can get everything that you don't want out okay so i deleted everything that i wanted to so now i'm going to select my character and i'm going to move it where i want it to so i already did that like i already did how i want my character to look like 
you can also move your character like on the model if you want to so you can place it where you want to and it'll be that easy and you can rotate where you want to and then you can put where, where you want it to be and just picture like where do you want everything to be and that will be your GFX. So this will only apply for people on Windows. If you do have 3D Viewer, you're going to open three, you're going, if you do have three, well, first off, if you, if you're on a Mac computer and you do not have 3D Viewer, what I recommend you to do is select the base plate. So get the base plate, look for the base plate. You're going to go to models and you're going to search up the sky that you want. Again, this only applies for people on Mac right now, but if you're on Windows, there is 3D Viewer, and I'll show you that in a second. And then you would take a screenshot of your uh, you would take a screenshot of your character, and that would be your GFX. But if you are in 3D Viewer, what you're going to do, you're going to get your model. This is very important. Oh, there's my base plate. You're going to delete base plate if you're on a Mac computer and or something or like not a Windows computer. You're going to drag model into your character. So now you're going to right click on your character. You're going to go to export selection and you're going to save it where you want to. I'm going to blur this part out. And you're going to pick the place where you want to. And remember... And you're going to save it where you want to, where you want it to be. And then you're going to save it. And then it's going to save. Then you're going to open 3D Viewer. So you're going to go to your Windows search bar. And you're going to search up 3D Viewer. And you're going to open 3D Viewer. And it's going to load. You're going to go to file and then you're going to go to open and then you're going to select the one that you want. So you're going to select your GFX. Then you're going to go into 3D viewer and you're going to pick the one that you picked. And then you're going to open it. So I will tell you guys something. You won't move in 3D Viewer. You won't move in 3D Viewer with, um, you can't move in 3D Viewer like with WASD. To rotate, you have to left click and hold and drag it and right click to move like left, right, and drag. And then to zoom, just zoom in like how you would normally zoom in. And then you're going to zoom in as close as you can, and then you can choose the lighting. You can choose any type of lighting. It can be at night, or it can be like bright outside, or it can be like this, like almost evening. You can pick any type of lighting that you want. It can be any type of lighting. I'm going to pick this lighting though, or I actually might pick this lighting more like an evening time then what i'm going to do i'm going to go to file then i'm going to go to export image and then you can zoom in as much as you want you can make it like a thumbnail like thumbnail long you can um you can make sure it's saved as a png you can also save it as a jpeg or anything that you want to save it as and just save it. I'm going to save it as a GFX, like, I mean as a thumbnail size. And make sure that you choose transparent so you can change the background. You can also render the shadows, but I'm going to render the shadows. And then you're going to export it and you're going to save it where you want to. You're going to, you're going to save it where you want to. And then that will be your GFX. And then 
it will save and that is how you make your gfx i hope you enjoyed this video and if this video was helpful don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you know when i upload a new video and don't forget to like the video and don't forget to click the bell and also the positive quote is on the screen and have a nice day goodbye sea star <laughs>